Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Today I have a very quick photon debugging tutorial, and this is going to be on a problem that a number of our subscribers have been receiving and have informed me about. Now I started receiving this problem when I updated to the latest version of Unity. I'm currently using Unity 2018.3.0 F2. And the problem deals with when I tried to add a photon view to an object in my scene via the Add Component button. So if I click the Add Component button, and I'm just adding this to any game object, if I search Photon View, you'll notice that the only option that we have for a Photon View is Photon View and then Ampersand V. And when I select this option, it throws an error in my console window that says execute menu item failed because there is no menu named component slash photon networking slash photon view and percent V. Now this is a very strange problem that we're running into and I can't tell you exactly why it's happening, but it's pretty easy to fix. So first off, you can work around this problem by just searching photon view in your project window. And so here you can see that we definitely have the photon view script and it's not called photon view and percent B. Also, when I select the script and drag it into the inspector, you can see that it adds this component without any problems. There's also a way that we can repair the script so that it'll show up in the add component options. And to do this, we need to open our photon view script. Once we have the script opened, we want to scroll down to this line here, which is line 30 for me. And it just says add component menu and then in parentheses and quotes it says photon networking slash photon view ampersand v so if we remove the ampersand v and then save our script we can then go back to unity now i'm going to select any object and when i click add component you can see that when we search photon view we now have a photon view option that doesn't have the ampersand v and if I select this option, you can see that it adds the photon view script without any problems. So that's how you fix this problem if you're using the latest version of Unity and the Photon plugin. Now I'm sure the developers of the Photon plugin will patch this bug in the near future. Other than this problem, I haven't found any other complications with using the latest version of Unity and the Photon plugin. But if you know of another problem, make sure that you let us know in the comments below and we'll try to do a video on it. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.